All right, I just wanted to mention a couple things from the report here real quick, and that is where George first saw Trayvon and the timeline that has been reported on as well. All right, so first we'll talk about where George first saw Trayvon. His statements have never been released, and they probably never will be. And there's no other evidence or anything to know that is available as to where George was and where Trayvon was when, he, when George first spotted Trayvon. All we have is this report right here. And it's just this piece of information right here. Zimmerman reported a suspicious person, Trayvon Martin, who he observed entering the gated community at the retreat, at, retreat view of Twin Lakes, is, I think is what it's really called, um, walking between the residents from the northwest. All right, that's it. So we go ahead and Google Earth this thing. There's the uh, retreat. Those of you familiar with, the, with this case will know what I'm looking at here. He entered from the northwest, probably right in between this trellis area right here. Probably walked right in between there, right? It's a gated community. You can see it's walled off. Walked down here towards the front gate. And there's our front gate. Re the retreat to Twin Lakes front gate. With our cameras. I didn't see anything about the camera view from on the website there but they did have video from the clubhouse but it didn't show anything not that I saw anyways now well, another thing to keep in mind here is that if you know anything about this area if you've studied it at all you'll know that all the robberies and vandalisms and all that bullshit that's been happening at that time and that past year and all that all of them occurred on the outer perimeter of those homes I think there was one like on the inside over here actually more down here actually but all of them were on the perimeter and George Zimmerman leaving out for Target reportedly sees Trayvon in the dark in a hood walking through right by these houses coming emerging out of there now according to Dee Dee's call he ran to the clubhouse so on top of that he's running so that goes in part and part to uh, the mindset of George and all that and what a reasonable person might do uh, I'm not going to go into all that right now anyway so now we know at least according to the police report where George saw Trayvon enter okay so that takes care of that right now the next thing is oh, the timeline okay that was page 42 by the way page 42 of the 183 page report this timeline is on page 40 let's go to that real quick there we are. Now, as you can see here, they start at 7 11 12. Well, there's a problem there because, I mean, was that two months ago or something? Right? They were talking about how we called it 7 11 12 because back then all we had was the, the event report when he called the non emergency number. And I explained then, and I'll explain again here. As we can see, the connection is actually at 7 09 and 34 seconds. And there's a created date of 7-11-12. It looks like they used the created date number. Now you may be thinking, well, maybe we're reading this wrong. I, I've always used the time start time at 7:09. Well, if you look down here at the description, the history, when they enter their information into the, the computer, we can see again that time of 7-11-12 and nothing before that. So at 7-11-12, it looks to me as though the dispatcher hit enter on the computer and by that time by 7 11 12 he had already gotten a bunch of information we can see that George Zimmerman had conveyed to him so it appears to me that the call started before 7 11 12 and more than likely at 7 09 and 34 seconds connection date connection time now so if we you know there's one way we can we have to look though right when the call that was placed by whoever placed that call where you can hear the screaming well that could be wrong too depends on what time they used but if we compare the same times though the same uh, criteria the same box connection time that with that then we'll have a better understanding but we do not have the event log 
for this call. We don't have the event logs for any of the 911 calls that were made.